everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A. If you have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comments section underneath this video and use the Ask Mark hashtag to get yourself and your question featured. Today I'm answering a question from Sage S about managing the weight of scuba gear. Sage S says, I recently signed up for my scuba class and I realized the tank is really heavy on my back and with the BCD I was given, it gets uncomfortable with all of the weight. Do you know if there is anything I can do to make it more comfortable? Scuba equipment can be quite heavy on your back and your shoulders, so rest the bottom of the cylinder on anything you can, even your buddy, until you're absolutely ready to jump in. If there's a long journey to the water, then you can carry your equipment to the water, leave it there, get the rest of your equipment, and then get kitted up in the water, depending on the conditions. But yeah, in your mindset, it should always be do I even need to be standing up at this point? Because you're only going to do yourself a mischief if you're carrying all of that weight on your shoulders and on your back. So, no, I mean, it's I typically get um, like, like, all kitted up quite fast compared to a lot of students because I've done it a million times. So I'll typically have my cylinder like resting on a bench or a, a wall or something and even if I'm like in it I'm still sat down until it's literally oh, stand up step step into the water if you're standing up then you're just you've got all that weight on your shoulders for no reason the same on ribs and the uh, the inflatable boats with um, with cylinders People often ask what's the benefits of a, a tall 12 litre cylinder and a dumpy 12 cylinder because they've got the same internal volume but dumpies are short and a bit wider whereas talls are tall and thin and a 12 litre dumpy is basically a 15 litre cylinder diameter but it's not quite as tall and even though it's got the same internal volume when it's actually attached onto your BCD it's it's like a few inches too short in the bottom and on a rib with a long cylinder you can kind of turn and rest it on the uh, on the tender on the side of the rib whereas with a dumpy it's too short so it's always bearing down on your shoulders so do bear that in mind if you do invest in a cylinder um but yeah, always rest it on whatever you can. If there's no water movement, no current, and uh, no like thieves in the area or whatever, you can put the BCD in the water, um, either inflate it so it stays on the surface and lash it to whatever so it doesn't disappear, or if it's in like the surf, you can deflate it so it stays where it is, just anchor it in place. And then you can walk into the water get kitted up so you never really have that weight of the uh, of the cylinder and everything on your shoulders bearing you down uh, the old adage of lift with your legs not with your back um, definitely helps but also bear in mind that school equipment isn't built for comfort so when you go to invest in your own dive equipment you'll suddenly notice this difference in like comfort because school equipment is made to be cost effective because they've got to buy 10 20 bcds all at once and it's also going to be hard wearing so that it lasts for a long time with a lot of abuse whereas when you get into more premium bcds for recreational diving then yeah it's built for comfort it's built for practicality so you're going to have more padded sections if you look at Aqualung BCDs, they have a Rapture harness system. So instead of the weight bearing down on your shoulders, they pivot so that the weight tends to sit on your hips like uh, like hiking backpacks. It just makes it a bit more comfortable. So um, do, do bear that in mind. But yeah, my usual tips are don't pick up the cylinder until you absolutely have to. Um, try and get everything else sorted before standing up and get kitted up in the water if you can. It's not always an option, but it is an option sometimes. Um, but also do bear in mind that what you're experiencing now with like school equipment won't be what you experience when you get action. Your own BCD is gonna be far more comfortable.